Welcome to the Ravens Craft Arts Moon Box Unboxing. Today we're going to be opening the Wild Moon Box for February. This is Crystal. She's going to be doing most of the handling. I'm going to do most of the camera work and some of the reading. Alright, so the first item we're going to be unboxing is the Cedar White Sage Bundle. This blend of sage is made with cedar which is used in healing, protection, and purification work. The white sage is used for purification and clearing of the energies around you. Use this to smudge the area around yourself in the area in which you practice. Envision white light as you smudge your area asking for all negative energies to leave. So, what's that? Did it smell good? Yes, it smells good. Yeah? Oh, that's you're dropping cool. some. Oh, that's okay. Alright. Let me see that. I can bring it a little closer to the camera here. Cool. That will be nice. Yeah, it does smell good. It's got white sage and cedar mixed in, so that's really cool. Alright, the next item on the list here is the healing sigil. That's the sigil there. Yeah. It says, during your ritual, focus your energy on this sigil. This sigil is a copy of an original hand painted painted piece from our book of shadows it holds the power to heal within the design keep doubt void from your thoughts only focusing on your clear intentions be sure that you are using your sigil the right side up right is it right side it up <laughs> please reference the back of the sigil to determine the top yep that's really cool i'll bring a close-up of that one yeah and i guess this is their own personal sigils that the moon box designs so that's really cool that they, you know, make these designs and put intentions into it. Alright, the next item on the list here is the raw amethyst point. It says here, the amethyst emotional aspects help to ident identify the root cause behind behaviors, habits, and emotional patterns, which can create imbalance. Check that out before I finish reading there, that. That's pretty nice. There is an up and there is a down. Let's notice the point. Oh, yeah. Just yep. as it is right there. That's why it is a point. It's a very big piece too. It's yeah. nice. Very cool. And it's a raw amethyst, unlike polished. Raw amethyst can hold more power. Cool. All right. The next one is the healing light candle. Now these things are one of my favorites in the box. Yes. The candles are really cool, the texture of them, the way they smell, yes. they're really cool. They're beeswax uh, candles, they're one of my favorite types of candles. Yeah, this one's purple. Nice. It says, the healing light candle. This candle has been anointed with magical oils and herbs to enhance the healing energy during your spell or meditation. We have included a spell from our personal book of shadows that has been a powerful addition to our craft. While burning the healing light candle, write down the things you will feel will personally heal you. Recite these things three times over, ending your meditation with so mote it be. As you burn your parchment, envision these things being applied to your life, that the smoke of the ash will carry these energies into the universe. Awesome. Yeah. Last time we got a white one, and this now is the purple one for the wild moon box. Yeah, smells awesome. And each box has like a different, distinct smell to it, and each one has been awesome. <laughs> All right, let's move to the next item. The next item on the list is the blessing oil. It says, the blessing oil contains a mix of magical oils and lavender herbs. Add to your bath, anoint your candle, crystals, and jewelry, or wear it on yourself to foster healing, self-love, blessings, peace, and helping your wishes come to fruition. We use this oil to dress our candles before spells, as well as anointing a piece of jewelry that will be used. That's actually a really good idea. Put some on some All jewelry. Right. The next item on the list is the comfrey root. Use comfrey root in a bath before a ritual to relax. This root is used for healing and love work. It can be burned in combination with mugwort to aid in divination and concentration. It says its correspondences and relationships are the feminine planets. It is related to the Saturn element and water as well. Cool. So you put this in your bath and you can burn it. 
comfrey root. Yeah, sorry. There is it. It looks like um almost like little crushed seeds or something. Alright. The next item on the list is the actual lavender herb. Now we're familiar with this. Lavender is used for sleep, longevity, peace, and purification. Use this in a bath to help purify and relax you. These flowers can also be burned or smoldered to induce sleep and rest, and are scattered about the home to maintain its peacefulness. This plant is so powerful that if, even when depressed, one gazes upon the plant, all sorrow will depart and joy will settle upon the observer. Lavender. Yeah. That's the good stuff. <laughs> that stuff smells really good. Yep, we've made some tea with lavender and things like that. Yep. Make them kids go to sleep. That is magic. Alright, the next item on the list is the stress relief incense. That must be the black incense sticks that they make. Yeah, these are really good. Are smells awesome. smells really good. Not like regular incense that mostly stinks. These are really good ones. It says, the stress relief incense. Burn this incense while taking a bath and while performing your ritual. Take in the fragrance and the feeling that follows. Relax. The next herb in the box is the chamomile. The chamomile helps cleanse and invigorate the throat chakra. It is used in spells for money, peace, love, tranquility, and purification. Use it in a bath as part of a spell to release feelings of pain, loss, or anger. You can also scatter this in the environment that causes you the most stress and heartache. Hmm, so maybe scatter some around at work, huh? <laughs> that might help, huh? Chamomile, also yep. Use it in a tea to help a sore throat. Honey and lemon. Yep, goes good with the lavender, lavender chamomile tea. Yep. All right, the next item is the Wild Moon Sacred Bath Salt. Now it says use this in your bath before your ritual to help you relax, clear your mind, and prepare yourself for transcendence. This special blend includes eucalyptus, chamomile, and lavender to help you relax and promote healing. Let me smell. It's probably the eucalyptus. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. And again, there's actual herbs in the in the salts. All right, the next item on the list is the Leather Lotus Book of Shadows. The Leather Lotus Book of Shadows will be your companion for the upcoming cycle of the year. Let me see that quick before I finish reading. Yeah, this is a nice leather bond book here. It's got some lotus engravings on it, some really nice paper inside. Yeah, this is really nice. Just in time, too, because I think yours is getting filled up, huh? Mm -hmm. so that's really nice, something they included in this box this month. Um, let's see where I left off. Our Book of Shadows are close to our hearts. As you conduct your rituals and spells, document the process. Document the feelings that you receive, the smells, and most importantly, the messages that you receive. Yeah, that's good for drawing, such as things like sigils or spells that you create. So, yeah, that's really nice that they included that. All right, so the next thing is the Talisman of Air, made of manzanita. This is really cool. Um, it's almost like a dream catcher type decoration. Um, let's see. It says, this thing has healing properties. Manzanita brings harmony to body and soul helping you to uplift our attitude concerning body image. Manzanita also helps those sensitive, spiritually attuned souls who find the body cumbersome. Manzanita is a fine re remedy for those who are unhappy with their physical form due to age, weight, or poor self-esteem. Ah, I see. So it's like a self-esteem builder. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I didn't know anything about that. We'll have to study a little bit more about that. Also, it says a little note here, this is also a time of year to celebrate in bulk. We take the valuable time to meditate, clean, and declutter. A clean and organized environment promotes magic and helps you achieve a clear understanding of your path. This space allows us to receive goodness unto our lives as the new seeds take root for the coming spring. And also, I think they have a parchment paper in there. Oh, 
it's attached here. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yep, they always include the parchment paper um, to write down anything that you want to write down in your rituals or, you know, drawings or when you burn your candle, you can write down your intentions. Um, that paper on the candle there, you're supposed to um, recite that and burn it, but we like to keep that because it's a really nice uh, saying on the paper. So what we suggest maybe is cutting a piece of that blank paper, writing your intentions, and then burning it while you burn this candle. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good reading. I don't know if you want to read it. Can you read that for us, Crystal? Give us a read for the end there. As I know that all things heal, with time and love it has revealed. As true as light, as true as dark, I ask to heal from the depths of heart. I know this thing to be true. Wash over any pain with the candle blue. So will it be. Yeah, see, these are the sayings that they send with every box. They're pretty cool. Uh, we just want to say thanks to the Moon Box for doing this. Uh, we really appreciate all these items. They are quality, very good items. And uh, I encourage you guys to check out their websites. We'll put links and everything up to find their website and their stuff. And uh, just want to say thanks again to everybody. And we'll see you later. Just want to say thanks again to the Moon Box. And I encourage everyone to go online and check out their website and their supplies. These really are quality items and they are created with good intention. Visit their page on Facebook to view some of their items. Also they have an email sign up subscription so check them out, support them. And thanks for watching everyone. Like I always say, stay on the positive path.